Exploring the legacy of a sinister toy. How scary can a toy be? Hey humans, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, I do videos on creepy and disturbing things. So it's fall of 2014 in Dayton, Ohio. A woman named Nicole Allen goes into Ooh, her I local dollar that, store to pick five. up a few things. In the back of the store, there's this huge array of pink and plastic. Having a two-year-old daughter at home, she decides to pick something up for her. All of the toys are displayed at the eye level of children, and all of it is designed specifically to catch a child's eye. Nicole Allen sees a wand wow, that she that. knows her toddler would love. It's a peachy flower-shaped magic wand. Anime the girl cardboard package too. has an innocent anime-looking character mm -hmm. on the front, and the back of the package promises that the toy can send out wonderful music. The toy's appropriate for any age. Oh, but it summons enough, a demon or something, Nicole huh? Nicole decides that it's fine for her two-year-old daughter, and maybe it would supply her with a few hours of entertainment. And without thinking much of it, few she hours. It's just it a wand that plays what music. What she didn't notice is that the packaging on the front calls the toy the evil stick. But the color of the title blends in well with the packaging and the font is so bubbly and cheery it's looking that and it's Ebenator. easily overlooked. Nicole gets home with this thing and regrets it instantly. Oh, good point, she Vegan. quickly discovers that she made a grave mistake as her daughter becomes distressed after playing with the toy for the first time. You see, there's foil in the middle of this wand specifically designed to distort the user's face when they look into this <laughs> little mirror-like thing. But it got way worse. It's Genius. Nicole then pressed the button on the wand's handle. To her horror, instead of the light, whimsical music that the package promised, she gets this maniacal, evil laugh. <laughs> then That's the a wand stock sound. Up, revealing Literal a stock sinister sound. photo behind the foil. A demonic-looking woman who appears to be slitting her wrist. Oh god, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> That is the evil stick for How you. How on earth did such an object oh. end up in Nicole's household? Thank you the 25 Turns out the Dayton Dollar tomato Store head. owner actually Again. purchased Thank a round you, of man. these toys all the way back in 2012. They somehow so went unnoticed broski. by consumers until Nicole made the unsettling Thank report you, all the way Appreciate two years it. later in 2014. We'll talk about it later, but the reason it went unnoticed is because not all of the wands actually had this sinister photo. And by all accounts, the store owner just blamed the mom for buying the toy in the first place because True. It clearly said evil stick on the front, so she should have known better. Mom, I of agree. course, argued that it was not her fault as the toy it was, did tell you it was and evil. flowery and mixed in with all the other children's items such as knockoff Barbie dolls and crowns and things like that. It was mixed in with all the other toys. And I can't help but agree with her there. The story went viral, and everybody thought that we had a new cursed object on our hands. And now let's we back did. up for just a second and see what's really going on here. First of all, a big reason that discount stores, such as dollar stores, can get away with such low prices is because they sell cheaply made items, primarily from China. And with that comes a lot of counterfeit items, usually mimicking name brands. And with that, it's as beautiful. you can imagine, comes quality control issues. It's from a man by the name of Matt juice. Clark, who also lived in Dayton, Ohio, became Came very interested in the story and he wanted to find an evil stick of his own. He went to the same dollar store as Nicole did and went to the back where all the toys were. Interestingly, he looked at all of the evil sticks in the store and a lot of them didn't even have this demonic woman. In fact, a lot of them weren't even scary. Damn Quote, it. There was one zombie type character, but what? most of them were straight cut out pictures from manga or anime. Pretty cartoony and not scary at all. However, Matt was pleased to find one evil stick left with the creepy photo in question and he bought it. That's the clip you saw earlier in the He's video. So proud. A clip he Good made you, originally Matt. just intended yeah. to show his friend. But Matt Clark's little clip actually went kind of viral on its own Three and it Grace sparked a lot Spectre. of internet sleuths to help him on the case. They soon figured out that this photo was actually taken all the way back in 2002 by a horror photographer by the name of Butcher Ludwig, which is, what a name. in my opinion, the best horror photographer name of all time. Uh, I was the just thinking the same thing. The photographer's original intention was just to depict a vampire about to drink her own blood as part of his Macabre Muses series. He posted the photo on his Facebook page, intended just to share his art. Shocking, as it turns out, this photographer never gave anyone permission to use his photo, especially not for I a wonder who 
made the evil it stick. It had clearly button. been stolen and copyrighted. The demonic eyes were not a part of the original photo, as you can see. Someone even took the time to add those in to make the photo even creepier. Anyway, so Matt Clark and his internet sleuths follow the barcode of the product. Ten YouTubers who have cried on camera. Sure. He was even set to talk to someone personally in the factory that nice helped make Asta the toys. And Gamer Man. He even posted on his YouTube about how close he was That's to solving the mystery. Hope you like it, Gamer Man. But right after he posted that, to everyone's horror, Matt Clark then suddenly disappeared from social media. This led to speculation that the oh. evil stick actually was a cursed object. He was assassinated? And someone or something got to Matt Clark for getting too close to the answer. Don't worry though, he has since been accounted for and oh. according to Matt himself, he just stopped posting. He thought it was funny that people thought he was cursed and that the timing was funny and so he just stopped posting to keep the rumor going. We all gotta entertain ourselves somehow. Anyway, as it you actually jokester, turns out, Matt. the company that he was talking to in China just stopped replying to his emails. Oh. Unfortunately, he never got to talk to anyone in the factory. Instead of the toy being a knockoff, there's this strong theory that Perhaps the toy was intentionally tampered with by someone in the factory well, in China. Well, of course it someone was. Someone found the image, altered it, and snuck it into production, maybe just as a prank. Yeah, I think it's a great joke. Like, that's pretty cool. And children, and it worked. It just seemed too intentional. Consumers wouldn't see the photo until they brought the evil stick home. There was a tab protecting the battery on the packaging that needed to be pulled off in order for the light to work and therefore for the photo to be revealed. Most people wouldn't bother with trying that in the store so most people would just throw it in their car Jake and bring Gruba. it home and activate the wand when they got there this would also prevent them from hearing the creepy laughter in the store <laughs> Someone also went through the trouble of photoshopping the picture before putting it into production Making of this particular batch of evil sticks. Either way, Nicole Allen and Matt Clark are the only two people that we know of who have an nice. evil stick with this particular demonic Wait, how does this image. go on for four Butcher more minutes? Ludwig, like we talked about earlier, the photographer of the original this feels like photo, the end. tried to talk to somebody in the factory about his stolen work. He exchanged a few emails with the company about his stolen photo, but of course, as you can imagine, they said they couldn't do anything about it. Uh, I it's all just going to be like epilogue now, I think. That's cute. That's a good prank, whoever did that. They really fucking got him. That kid will never forget that. There's a resub Trav and Pam.